Hi, this is Scott Allen, and this module is an introduction to ASP.NET MVC4. This module will give you an overview of what is new in ASP.NET MVC4. If you've never worked with ASP.NET MVC before, I'll be building a simple application to demonstrate the basics of the framework. But even if you have worked with ASP.NET MVC previously, the demo will show off some of the new features for version 4. Let's look at the release notes for MVC4. If you go to the ASP.NET website, you'll find some release notes for MVC4 that list the new features for this version, as well as how to install the framework and update existing applications. One of the new features for version 4 is the ASP.NET Web API. This is a framework for building web services that embrace HTTP. I have a module dedicated to the Web API in this course, and John Flanders also has an excellent course dedicated to this topic. The mobile features of MVC4, including the mobile project template and display modes, these are covered in the mobile module for this course, and if you're interested in more information on jQuery mobile itself, I also have a course dedicated to that topic. The task support for asynchronous controllers is the focus of the async module in this course. Asynchronous controllers allow you to keep an application scalable even when you have a lot of long-running network calls to make from your controllers. And the bundling and minification features allow you to optimize your JavaScript files and CSS style sheets for download. We'll take a look at the bundling and minification features of MVC4 in the optimization module. Finally, this module will cover just about everything else. We'll build a small application from scratch and see how to use database migrations, how to deploy to the cloud, talk about the MVC design pattern and see how controllers, views, and models all work together. And I'll also talk about some of the enhancements to the default project templates.